Hey guys, this is Michael and Corey. You're watching Vinyl for Miles. Today we're going to talk about American football. So American football is a band that formed in the mid 90s. They had one LP out in the 90s called LP1, uh, self-titled after the name of the band. And they took a 17 year break and came out with LP2, came out in 2016, 17 years after. And then LP3 just came out uh, this month. Isn't that right? And each one of these releases are extremely chill. I guess that's what I can say. Very clean guitars. Uh, if anything, it kind of reminds me like Death Cat for Cutie kind of vibe on the guitars, but more laid back vocals. LP1, it, it seemed more like the vocals was trying to find his voice. Uh, didn't necessarily sound like he was the best singer, but it kind of fit the music. LP2 is a big improvement. Uh, and LP3, they actually have a lot of guest singers on it. So I have each one of these. I have this uh, LP1 on 180 gram black. Uh, I'll show you each one and then we'll try to focus more on the newest that came out. So American football, like I said, they gained a lot of traction after this record came out. So this came out, they weren't that popular. They played some shows. And then out of nowhere, it became this like cult classic. It just blew up. People were ordering this like crazy because Polyvinyl Records, I believe, is uh, their label, repressed it, and just people went nuts. And it sounds really good on vinyl. So this is their first album. It has, I guess that's a house. I don't remember if they lived in this house or they practiced there. It was definitely a local house for them. That's what's on the back. A nice picture. Uh, and they do interesting stuff with their text. They put it sideways so you have to flip the record to read what the track list is. Again, this is on 180 grand black. I'll show you what it comes with. Isn't that cool? So you get the nice thick record in here. It's a single LP. I mean, it's not that long. You don't need a double for this. And then you get one insert, single sided insert with track listing information. So that's LP1. I have that, like I said, on black. This is LP2. LP2 came out in 2016. This record is very, very kickback, even more than the first. LP2 features the same house on the cover, except for now you're on the inside of the house. And on the back, it's the same kind of thing. It has a picture, but this time the text is straight. And we got this one on 180 gram orange. So let me show you what the inside looks like. It comes with lyrics this time. It's one insert, this is the sleeve. So the sleeve has a few pictures and actual lyrics, which we didn't get in the last one. Some more photography on there. And what we picked up was the orange edition. And very, very low surface noise, very good mix. It sounds like uncompressed, ready, mixed and mastered for vinyl. Uh, this is the orange copy. Killer record, I love it. Some people gave it mediocre reviews, but this band, I mean, that's one of their things is they're just extremely chill. So this is the newest release from uh, American Football LP3. You'll notice that LP3 doesn't have the house on the cover. So this is the first time they took away the house. Uh, I kept the hype sticker on here and the hype sticker basically just mentions it's 180 gram pink. It includes a download and it also includes yeah. Haley Williams, a Paramore, Elizabeth Powell from Land of Talk and Rachel Goswell from Slow Dive, which from what I remember, these are pretty reputable singers. So here's what the cover looks like. And if you flip it on the back, same thing again, they do half a picture of some sort and then they put the track listing, but it came with a download card right here. It also came with 15% uh, off your next order on American Football's website, so they give you a coupon for pre-ordering, and I pre-order this directly from the band. Whenever possible, I try to get it through the band, because as a musician, I know how hard it is. All right, so here's what's on the inside. They actually went a little further <laughs> with what it comes with now. So this one came with a booklet. I think it's like an eight-page booklet, which is really nice. has this cool kind of abstract photography on it has the full lyrics and it's like 11 by 11. Really cool. And this was only like $20, I think, to pre-order this. Um, but what's really awesome is the pink. I, 
don't know, three or four pink records, but this one I have more of a lighter pink and it's solid. I've had transparent pinks, but this one just looks so cool. There you go, that's the other side too. I'd say out of their whole discography, this is probably my current favorite. As I mentioned, the singer on the first album was trying to find his voice. Second album, he's just a little uh, like low key on the vocals. So this one actually has a few female singers on it. Haley Williams is my favorite. I've been a fan of Paramore for quite a while, but it's a really good mix. It it, it definitely takes you track to track on, on a different adventure compared to the other two albums. It spices it up a little bit. And it's pretty impressive that you've got you know, the singer Paramore on this one. So that's uh, LP3. I made a mess over here. I have to clean that up. Check it out. Go on their website. Again, they're from uh, Polyvinyl Records is the record label that they're on. They still have some copies on their website. Uh, I got the pink. I think there's a blue and a black. Um, and then they also have a double edition of it, a uh, two LP edition. So if it's on a two LP, it probably has a little more space, uh, probably less compressed. Probably has better bottom end on it, but this sounds great to me. It's fine. So that's it for American football. Do yourself a favor. Go pick this up. All right. See you guys next time.